OK, I'm going to start off by opening a new document by hitting Control N for new, or you can select new when that menu option opens. And I'm going to go ahead and type in type, spacebar, my initials. Sorry for the redundancy or um, repetition. I put type in there by typing it in there. And then there's a spacebar, and there's my initials. I hit OK. And I have my document open. I'm going to zoom out by hitting Control minus. Remember from the interface, you can use the zoom tool, or you can zoom out using the option over here for the percentages. I'm at 50% right now, and I'm going to go ahead and tear off my type um, tool options by clicking and holding with the pen on the pad the type tool, kind of like the same way we did with the geometric shapes. I'm just clicking and holding, and I'm just going to go to this little arrow here and tear it off. And we're going to tear it up with some type tool options. So I'm first in the type tool, and the shortcut for the type tool is in the parentheses. Yep, that's the T. All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and click and drag a text box. Here's the text box, and those of you who use Microsoft Word um, will recognize the text box, that you're only limited to this text box that you just clicked and dragged out. Okay, so I have kind of mixed feelings about a text box. I feel it doesn't give you the freedom that you want. So right now, I'm just you know typing in some random copy just to save some time. And you'll notice it's gray. And you're like, well, why is it gray? You know, I'm typing in type on the computer uh, keyboard, and it's gray. And it's because it's like super small, and that's the way it kind of reads it from when you're zoomed out. But if I hit Control-Shift-A, to deselect, and then I hit Control Plus to zoom in, you'll notice that you can start seeing the text. Okay? And you'll see that you're limited to that text box area. Now, if you um, want to change the font, which is like the style of the text, this is a great way to um, do it. You just bring that um, cursor with the type, and you wait till that dancing ants go away, and you just have the type cursor. You click and hold, and you drag it over, so you're basically selecting all the font that you just created. And then you're going to go to the font style up here. Now, I don't really like that it doesn't show you what it looks like, you know, so you can't get a preview. So this is what I recommend. You hit the bottom but or I'm sorry, the top button on your graphic pen to right click, or it's the button right below the light on the bamboo pen and touch, um, and it's right below the light. And you just go ahead and you go and you click the right click, and then you go to font. And now you can see the name of the font and also the title of what the font is called. So you get a kind of like a two for two for one kind of deal. So I'm just going to hit this down arrow here just by clicking on it. And I'm going to go ahead and select a font style. And then I'm going to do Gil Sans Ultra Bold. And you notice that if I change the font size to something even larger, then you get this little plus here. Okay? And if I make it smaller, the plus is still there. And I'll show you why. I'm going to go to hit Control Shift A to deselect. It's, notice how it's in that text box, because I made that box. I'm going to hold Control to get to that selection tool. So I'm holding Control. I'm just going to select it and just click this down. And you notice, if I drag the text box, the type forms to what that area is. So let's say you wanted to make a um, circle or an ellipse. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Um, I'm just going to change this uh, fill to the stroke. And I'm going to go to the Type tool. And I'm just going to go ahead and type. And it fits to that ellipse. OK? Something to think about. Control Shift A. And then I'm going to go ahead and move it down. I could write more type in here, or I can move it up. And you see that plus? It's because some of the type is getting cut off, and it has to fit inside the, the uh, ellipse. So if you want that plus to go away, you just bring it down, and you fit it on there. Okay? Or you just you can also do this where you just delete some of the type and that type text but that plus should go away. Sometimes it gets a little goofy, there's some extra stuff, so you just hit control minus, control plus, and then that extra goofy stuff goes away. Some memory issues sometimes the computer has. So um, that's with the type tool, but um, here's a, a recommendation for the type tool that I love to do. I want some freedom with my type, so I'm just going to hold the control key and click on that and delete. Control key, click on that and hit delete. I'm going to hit control zero and zoom out a couple times by hitting control minus. 
And I love the freedom of just singular type, uh, singular letter. So I'm in the type tool T, and I just click like I'm clicking an anchor point. I'm not going to drag anything out. I'm just going to click like I'm clicking an anchor point. And I'm just going to go ahead and type a T. And now I'm going to zoom in, and you'll notice it's kind of small. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead. You can change the font size by doing this when it's selected, or you can go to the corner and drag it out. Now you'll notice it's kind of disproportionate. So I'm going to hold the shift key and drag it out like this conversation we're having, and now it's proportion. I'm just going to show you again because it got kind of thrown off the canvas. I'm holding the shift key. I'm not holding the shift key. I'm holding the shift key. I'm not holding the shift key. So I hold the shift key, and there's the T. It's proportionate, and it's on there. And let's say you wanted to rotate it really quickly. You can go to the upper right invisible corner above the square and just go to those and get two arrows. And just click. Make sure you get those two arrows. I missed it. So you just click and drag. There we go. It's the invisible corners. You can hold the shift key. It does a 45 degree angle, 90 degrees, and so forth. Um, release the shift key, and there we go. So I have that T um, with the type tool. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, hit delete for the type tool. Um, and I want to go to the t area type tool, which is kind of neat. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and select a rounded rectangle. Remember, there's no shortcut for that. And just click and drag it out. And I'm just going to go ahead and just so I can see the pass a little bit better, change that fill to the stroke. And then the stro uh, fill will be nothing or none. And I'm just going to go ahead and go to the type area tool and just click in there. And then I could go ahead and type. It's like having a nice little text box kind of deal. So that's another way to do that. You could do it with any sort of uh, shape. You can even do it with an organic shape if you wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and hit Control Shift A, hold the Control key, and hit Delete. Now, here's a really neat thing. You could type on a path tool. So remember how to make a path? P for pen tool. You can do it that way. And I'm just going to make a roller coaster. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move my fill to my stroke. Make sure that that's good. Click and drag down. Click and drag down, yep, from the lines tutorial. So I don't have a fill and I have a stroke. I'm going to go to the type on path tool. There's no shortcut for that, so I click on that. I'm just going to go ahead and click on the Type on Path tool, and it lets me type on the path, kind of like a nice little roller coaster. Really, really kind of neat. Control Shift A to deselect. You can zoom in, Z uh, for the zoom tool. Click and drag a box around it so I can see it. Hit Control minus to zoom out a little bit. Kind of cool. Hold the Control key, click on it, and then hit Delete, and that deletes it really quickly. Now I could go ahead and type vertically. So this is a vertical type tool, no shortcut for that. I'm just going to click, and it lets me type vertically. Very cool. You can also click and drag a box, like we do a text box, and you're in that area as well. Okay, Pretty neat. That's how you type on vertically. I just hit Control-Z to undo that. And then we have a type vertically in an area, which is a really cool tool that you can use. And it's kind of like the same thing as this area type tool, but this one will allow you to type vertically. I'm going to go ahead and make a star. This will be kind of cool and maybe hit the up arrow to make it a little bit interesting. And then I'm going to go ahead and switch it so I can see the stroke a little bit better. And I'm going to go ahead and click the area vertical area type tool. I'm just going to click in there, and it'll allow me to type vertically in the star. Something different, Control-Shift-A. This lets me know that there's that extra type in there. So if I wanted to delete some, whoops, if I want to hit the delete so that it becomes, it disappears, that, that plus. I zoom in, zoom out, it's gone. Control Shift A. So I've got that very cool star that I can type, and it looks like that type on vertical is in that area. So I hit Delete. And this one is vertical type on path tool. Now, this one I get confused a lot with the type on path tool. So I'm going to show you the vertical type on path tool, and then I'm going to show you the difference with the type on path tool. So let's do the vertical type on path tool first by making a super straight line vertically. I'm going to go ahead and throw that anchor point down, hold the shift key, and the mayonnaise. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch it to the stroke here, control shift A, and I'm going to go ahead and vertical type on path. So I just go to that tool, click on the vertical type, and then I type in some random st stuff that says photoshop blah. All right, and then now I want to go ahead and hit Control Shift A, P for the pen tool. Let's go ahead and draw a super straight line. Make sure that that stroke is filled so I can see that path. Control Shift A. It's really always important that you check your fill and your stroke when you're 
made your line or your shape just to kind of keep on tabs to, um, that you're doing the right thing. So then I'm going to go ahead and just type on the path tool. And you'll see the difference between the vertical type on path and then just the regular type on path. And you'll see that it's horizontally like kind of flipped sideways, OK? So that's a difference. The vertical types up and down. The um, type on path you know, is usually like left to right, OK? Very kind of neat and something um, that you should know.